Item 10B, adopt a resolution authorizing the city manager to execute a construction contract with Horizon Brothers Painting for the Civic Center Painting Project in the amount of $92,100 and approving a total construction budget of $115,100. Good evening, Honorable Mayor, members of the City Council. My name is Will Anderson, Staff Engineer, Public Services Department. I'm here to present the uh, Civic Center Painting Award uh, construction contract. Uh, the project generally encompasses painting the exteriors of City Hall, the library, and the fire station adjacent to City Hall. Uh, this project was last brought forth to Council in uh, January of 2013, and at that point, uh, Staff received direction on an approved concept, which generally encompasses creating a uniform look along El Camino, uh, including the relief sculpture on the library, placing stucco at the entry stairs to the city hall, uh, power washing of the existing brick retaining walls, and including a bid alternate to include stucco and painting of the brick uh, building facades uh, along the El Camino frontages. So since that point, we encompassed uh, the concepts into bid documents, which we put forth for bidding. Um, and on May 22nd, we did uh, open bids. We received five, and staff is recommending award to the lowest responsible bidder, which is Horizon Brothers Painting. Uh, staff's recommendation is also to, to include the alternate to install stucco and paint the brick frontages uh, along El Camino. Uh, so if the, if staff's recommendation to include the bid alternate is not desirable by council, uh, we can delete that work from the contract and that will not alter the, uh, the status of the bid results. So we are estimating construction to start in two months, probably in uh, August, with a completion date in mid to uh, early to mid-October of this year. There's additional work under the definition of the project, uh, but is not part of the construction contract. One item of work is the trimming of the landscaping adjacent to the buildings to provide a clear path for our painting contractor to work. And that will, that will obviously occur before the painting project uh, begins. A second sub-project would be install an entry plaque to City Hall and also address numbers. And that will be a future project. So we do have some conceptual drawings, uh, both uh, on the PowerPoint, and we do have larger versions on the easels uh, on the other side of the building here, if, uh, you know, if there's uh, you know, more detail uh, that you'd like to look at. So uh, here's the uh, conceptual drawing of the city hall uh, with the proposed paint colors. And we have similar drawings for both uh, the library. Uh, please note that the relief sculpture on the library will be a uniform color uh, based on uh, uh, the request from council earlier this year. And finally, we have a rendering of the fire station 51 just south of the city hall building. So I guess staff's recommendation is to authorize the city manager to execute a construction contract, uh, including the bid alternate for an amount of $92,100 and accounting for inspection, staff time, uh, 
and contingency approve a construction budget of one hundred and fifteen thousand one hundred dollars uh, so with that uh, if there's any questions any questions of staff yeah. okay. through the chair oh go ahead thank you I noticed that on the city hall one you and I know it's going to be a future thing. You have San Bruno City Hall, and it's going to, it really stands out. And even the address, the El Camino Real, stands out. But this, the Central Fire Station and the San Bruno Lib Public Library wording, wordage does not. Can we have those painted red, maybe, in the accent color? And then I think it would make it clearer what people are looking at. Yeah, we can definitely investigate that. Yeah, do you guys? Okay. And then I personally, since we're going there, I personally like the brick left. So that would, if, if we vote and leave the brick, that would mean that you don't need the alternate, right? Okay. So Correct. I personally think the brick kind of frames it and, and is nice. I like all the colors as they turn out. I really appreciate seeing it this way. Um, it makes a difference. And I think the white edging that's on here, um, the high, I guess, are accent things really makes it very elegant so that the only thing I would change is the uh, you know to, to uh, paint the lettering so that it stands out and I'd leave the brick and that's my opinion uh, with the city hall drawing can you uh, it, I drive by it every day but it, it appears that the landscaping to the left to the south of the flagpoles is going to be significant I mean as far as removal because you I don't I don't recall seeing that part you know seeing much of the building it's just pretty pretty dense so your your plan is to your proposal is to eliminate a lot of landscaping there yes uh, since I guess since it was last presented to you we uh, as far as the landscape trimming we also uh, decided to remove I think uh, the bush immediately to the left of the entry um, and there's actually an air conditioning unit behind That's that, which sign, will also sign be is, used. Yeah. So uh, the decision was if we just trimmed back that bush, it would not look presentable. So uh, the removal of that bush in its entirety is planned. No, I'm all, I'm all for it. I'm all for it looking like that. Yeah, yeah which means, yeah, a lot of... And it's my understanding, uh, I agree with Irene as far as the... Uh, the brick, but according to the staff report, it was it was the brick that was on the building below the windows. Okay. Correct. Right. Okay. So it really is not as noticed. It's not even shown on 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 these on these photos. Y yes, right. it's shown. Well, if you really at, look, you, if you yeah. really look, you can see that yes, uh, you see brick only just on the right side of the building and also a very small section in front of the fire station, oh. which will be based, which is included in the alternate. All of the retaining walls, everything is, uh, will stay cleaned and uh, with minor maintenance. So, uh, so the retaining wall that's right on the sidewalk there, that will stay brick? Correct, okay. other than uh, uh, also the right side of the stairs that uh, was already included in the uh, right. base bid based on your input last time, that, that will be stuccoed and painted. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and my two cents on the yeah. signage, I think we need to talk about that because you, you've got City Hall on, you know, that's on the window above the doors. You've got San Bruno City Hall, which I really like is those letters that are in there for the you know, and it ties in the other buildings. And then you have San Bruno City Hall to the left with the proposed sign. Yeah. I think there's, there's overkill here, so there might need to be some discussion on how we consolidate some of our signage. So, but I agree. Uh, the 567 El Camino Real on the new stuccoed wall, you know, that, that looks good. That looks really good. So maybe like Irene says, maybe the letters, the, the metal letters get painted a darker color to really stand out, you know, and, and are the same on all three buildings possibly. 
Could I just ask for clarification? When, when you talk about the metal letters, you're talking about the ones uh, above the door to City Hall that float in the air? Yeah. The library has a similar, so this. All three buildings have, have the, the same, same have, have yeah. the same style letters, either against the wall or. or, or and they're not real visible right now, right. Um, but, but a, a architecturally consistent feature. It is the style, the style, that font goes with yep. the buildings, mm -hmm. yeah. Michael, anything? Yeah, thank you. <clears throat> I was just looking at those letters that everybody was talking about. They, they, they're definitely more noticeable in front of the building versus floating on top of the roof like they are in City Hall. Um, so regarding the, um, the stucco on the bricks, I kind of like the idea of covering the bricks on the building. Uh, but I did have a question about how extensive that would be. I was looking on the north end the north entrance facing the library has a couple of planters there and I was wondering if the stucco would include those areas probably not at this point no uh, they we are treating them more like planter areas but they the bricks will receive a power washing uh, and repairs of any voids or cracks there's actually one side of a wall that's actually hanging off of the rest of it so probably going to take more than a little, yeah. little mortar to fix that. <laughs> okay, so, so it would be strictly the brick that's under the windows then, and just on City Hall. And okay. just along the El Camino frontage. Not on the Linden Street side. Correct. Yeah, because it's going to be inconsistent. Then we have that other, the, the little pa patio area outside of the library is also brick and it kind of seems to flow with that. So. Um, I guess if it's just that one section, it's, it's not going to look complete if we do that and not the rest of it. Um, I was also wondering about just the, you know, the, the bricks themselves probably need to be checked for leaks if whatnot. I'm assuming there's possibly a wood frame underneath that and if water gets behind the bricks then it could cause damage inside. I thought maybe the stucco would help seal those off if we decided to do that but um, again it, it would have to be consistent and it, it would have to include the areas that are planters versus uh, just decorative brick and it doesn't sound like we're going there that was part of uh, the decision process if we did stucco all the planter or retaining walls uh, we would have to repair those walls prior to placing the stucco uh, at an additional cost Mm -hmm. I would add also one of uh, the other uh, consideration was that beside uh, needing much extensive uh, repair, those retaining walls before uh, will be stuccoed, also wasn't a complete redesign of uh, the landscape around uh, the city hall. And was uh, the discussion that probably in a later date, uh, all of the landscape around City Hall can be um, redesigned as part of a uh, separate project, uh, independent later on of uh, the painting itself. Okay, and then looking at that the that structure next to the stairs and and on the El Camino side, the part that we're talking about stuccoing, mm -hmm. I did look in there, and there is there's there's plants on top of there, and there's irrigation there. And I'm wondering if that's not going to contribute to uh, excessive moisture in those bricks that are there and, and causing the stucco to separate or bubble up at some point. That's a good point. Uh, I guess uh, I can confirm that with our stucco or our painting contractor and his stucco people just to okay. make sure. Yeah, because along the rest of the wall, I noticed that there are some drainage spouts at the bottom and there's really small ones for this, this particular section. Um, so that I'm thinking there's a, a potential for that to be an issue. I, I like the way it looks, but again, I'm, I'm wondering how, uh, how robust that's going to be. Um, and uh, I was also, I wasn't able to find the, uh, the paint samples that we got last time. And in, in some of these drawings, it, the, it looks a little bit greenish, and I don't recall it looking that way when we actually when we had the actual paint samples way back when, when we first discussed the color scheme. Uh, 
Yeah, we do have paint chips, probably like three inches by five inches of mm -hmm. the complete color scheme. Uh, okay. I apologize, those uh, didn't reach you guys, but... Uh, oh, okay, but does everybody have, remember the color yeah, looking? Have. It was more of a tan sort of color, not a yeah. sort of greenish tint like it looks like in these pictures. I just wanted to make sure, because to me the greenish looks a little a little dated, but I remember the colors looking a little nicer when we saw the actual color, so I just wanted to verify that. Before uh, the contractor will apply, will start to apply the final painting, uh, can be a uh, bigger sample uh, requested to be provided, mm -hmm. and each of you can have your input at that time before that will be uh, okay. applied to the building. All right, thank you. Rico, anything? Real quick, just on the uh, El Camino sign with the uh, El Camino side with the city hall. I'm going back in memory, but I had thought because it was going to say San Bruno City Hall to the left of the flagpoles that there was some discussion of removing the San Bruno City Hall, we'll call it the floating as the city manager said, um, because like you said, it's above the glass, it would be to the left, and then have a up top. I think we need to coordinate that somehow. Uh, it doesn't stand out at all, as the vice mayor said, so I don't know if you move it and you put it on the... Um, the north side of the building above the windows. I don't know if you put it to the left side or I thought that's why the San Bruno City Hall was being placed there was in lieu of that. But that again goes back long ago. So that's my only comment. Okay. I also agree it's a, it's a nice scheme um, and I, I'm also for just cleaning the brick in, on the El Camino side and, and uh, the rear of the building. I don't want to you know, skim a lot more brick than what you already have shown here. And then I go along with the talk about the signage and stuff too. I, these letters sit way up on top of the city hall, but your eyes are not going to be drawn to them the way they're sitting now at all. So I think we have to have a little discussion about removal or replacement someplace else. Can I just add, add, uh, just make sure to that uh, we're absolutely 100% clear. Um, just to recap what I think I've heard. Um, first of all, painting the metal signs on the library and the fire station right. so that they stand out and evaluating the relocation of the one at, uh, above the main entrance to City Hall to see whether, again, it, it, painting it and then uh, seeing whether we could relocate it to a place that would be more visible on the frontage of the building. Um, secondly, regarding the treatment of the front uh, area just to the right of the main stairway into City Hall, uh, we're being tasked with double checking and confirming that stuccoing over that area that um, contains some uh, planter and irrigation material, that that can be done in a way that's not going to be compromised by potential moisture down the road, um, consistent with the Council's previous guidance that you want a uniform appearance on both sides of the stairs mm -hmm. at the main entrance to City Hall. One area I'm, I'm not 100% clear that um, I understand what the consensus of the council is, is then the uh, bid alternate having to do with the brick on the building itself. I heard two different opinions and want to make sure that uh, staff has clear direction as to whether the bid alternate to stucco over the brick that's actually attached to the building itself on the north side of the front of City Hall, and there's a small section um, on the front of the fire station, I believe, to the north, uh, to the right-hand side of the door, uh, main entrance to the fire station. Um, is I, that, what, what is the council's guidance regarding that particular feature? I had foregoed it. I, I didn't think it was necessary. And I, I agree, I just leave the brick Clean the brick and leave the brick. Okay, and I think Councilmember O'Connell, you had the same opinion. And is that is that correct? This is yeah. the, this brick here. Mike, Michael right. Michael didn't want it. But yeah, I'm not voting. <laughs> okay, so so we will delete the bid alternate, right. and then um, uh, lastly, we're going to. There was one more thing. Um, oh, we're going to provide you with the paint, the right. paint chips, so that you can see precisely what the color is before it's applied. Okay. Correct. I have another color Correct. question. We're deleting the bid alternate. 
Um, can you? Ex I don't. I don't recall if we talked it, about it much previously. But can you explain this, the paint, the color scheme of the sculpture relief? I mean, you're showing it, but you're not showing any variation to it. And I know it'd probably be difficult, but you're showing. You're specifying three different colors on that. On, on Actually, that the 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 um, material that you have in your packet uh, was the previous concept that had that <coughs> relief sculpture being colorized. The city council directed in the January meeting that you did okay. not did not want that bid, and um, in fact, That's the the wall color uh, will be uniformly applied <coughs> over that relief sculpture. That's the plan. So, and, and just for our, my clarification, you're, you haven't decided what you're going to do with, with the building letters yet. That, but we may, one, one consideration would be to paint them a darker color. So I'm hearing a <laughs> consensus by the council to paint them in a darker color as related to the fire station and the library, and then to seek uh, alternative placement of the one on City Hall and to paint it. Is it is that the consensus the, of the council? The letters on, on all three buildings are the same. Correct. They're like aluminum or something, they're metal. So to say that you're going to paint them like you are on the other buildings, I don't think they're being proposed to be painted. Through the chair? Yes, Irene. My, my suggestion was to paint them, take them off, do whatever they have to do to them and paint them the, the dark red that's one of the colors and then put them back. And then I think the concern or the, the question then is what do we do with the ones on City Hall because they're kind of floating up there. And my suggestion is once we paint, well, they're painted, see if they are no longer floating. Maybe the dark red makes them st stand out. And if it doesn't, maybe they should, they would, look good on the left-hand side where you have that mm -hmm. other sign mm -hmm. that's a possibility that we haven't decided yet. So the bottom line is my suggestion is paint them all and then we'll, on the city hall one, we'll see where it goes. I'll, I'll agree with you halfway. I don't, I don't, I'm not sold on painting them red though. Um, do you want them the dark green? An accent. I don't know what, I don't know. I'm, I'm a well, visual guy. I can't nice. just say well, what color. Well, I, I think if they're going to do a, some swatches oh, okay. on yeah, the building course, they can. I'd, I'd rather see it do mocked up. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We can we can provide some. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it, it doesn't affect the bid. Yeah. No, right. I just we, I just think a dark accent color, whatever agree, one of the other ones okay, are. Good. It's fine. We'll, we'll work on that to see if we can at least provide some mock-ups in different colors. Okay. We are asked to adopt a resolution. I'll introduce the resolution. Vice Mayor O'Connell? Aye. Council Member Medina? Aye. Council Member Ibera? Aye. Council Member Salazar? Aye. Mayor Ruane? Aye.